30 points tonight, also a career high. Cal Poly's first 30 point game since Vic Joseph had 36 against Northridge late in February last year. Question, guys. Don, they seem like uh, they were, like I said, like I asked Cuba, they were sticking with you guys. Um, did your mindset change a little bit in that second half when the ball was falling for you in terms of probing that defense and trying to get to the basket a little bit more? Um, yeah, I mean, Coach always tells me stay aggressive. He tells all the guys because we have a lot of quick guys like Cuba was saying. So just trying to get to the basket and tonight the lane was open and I mean, the layup was there. So I just took it and took what the defense gave me tonight. It seemed kind of like whenever you the team, you kind of needed a basket or a bit of kind of a, the right pass to me. Like the yeah. yours were just kind of consistent, and I always wanted it just kind of like when uh, the Menlo kind of made little runs, you just you just were able to kind of get a quick bat, quick basket, just kind of like get the momentum back in your side. What went into all that? Went into your uh, performance tonight? Um, just like just playing basketball all these years, like you get that feeling when your team like needs a, needs a bucket really bad and. We just really work the ball, and I know I had to stay aggressive and keep pressure on the defense, and, and things will open up for myself or my teammates. Opening up your first game of your senior season, uh, was it, how, how good was it to get, get, out, get out there, play a new team, other guys just screw against yourself and get a win? Yeah, it feels really good. I mean, it's been a long eight months since last March we played in the Big West tournament. So, I mean, my senior year, I've been waiting for this this game for a long time, and I'm just just glad to get this one out the way. Seven road games coming up for you guys. Um, what do you feel like the biggest thing you guys need to improve on coming, going into Arizona and then games after that as well right now? Um, really just staying consistent in practice, really working hard and just focusing on the minor details because those are the things that will win us games. Now, uh, you put up a uh, career high 30 points. Would you say that is a product of where the offense has kind of developed this offseason or was that just the, this game situation dictated? Um, I would definitely say it's a little bit of both. Like we have a lot of a lot of guys that can shoot the ball, so with with those guys on the court, the court is a, way more spaced out. So it gives me guys like me, Joe, and Marcellus, a lot of driving lanes. And tonight I took advantage of it. What do you think of some of the newcomers, Joe, Junior, Tuka? How, how do you feel like they played tonight? I mean, I feel like they played solid. Like I was just telling them in the locker room, like this is their first game. Like they're gonna be nervous, and I was just telling them, like you're gonna be nervous. You, you're gonna mess up and. It just matters what you do after you mess up. So I have all the faith in those guys, and I believe that they'll really help us this season. Uh, so you guys obviously have that big game coming up this Sunday against Arizona. Um, as one of the older members on the team, what do you feel like not only you, but some of the other older guys need to do in a leadership role to kind of prepare the younger guys to take on, on like Arizona? Um, just basically keep guys focused. You know, we want to get too starstruck. You know, we're playing a Pac-12 Arizona, but. At the, end of the day, at the end of the day, we're just playing another basketball game, but we understand what, what level they're at, and we understand where we're at, and we're just trying to get better. How much are you looking forward to playing Arizona in like, the uh, Pac-12 environment? Like, it, like last year against Cal, it was, it was only a three-point loss, and then Arizona, our top top team in the conferences. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, def definitely excited for that. I mean, uh, coming from New York, I mean, I watch Arizona games all the time, and just looking at that court is always somewhere I always wanted to play, or play there or on that court in general. So I'm really excited. I'm excited me and the guys get a chance to play there.